Good day everyone, welcome again to our channel. In this video, we will make something fun and that is a 3D printable Spotify code, such as this one. So, what is a Spotify code? It's actually something that looks like a barcode that's uh, developed by Spotify so that we can share the fun and amazing content of Spotify. So, to do that, first we need to open the Spotify code generator website. I already opened that one here. So, it is spotifycodes.com. Okay. And then after that, we need to open the Spotify apps on our uh, computer and then copy the link. So to do that, let me open the Spotify apps. Here I open the Dave Brubeck Quartet. And then uh, for the song that I want to share here is this one, Take 5. So click here and you will see some uh, menu or selection here and then click this one, Share. And then this one, Copy Song Link. Okay. And then after that, we need to return to the website spotifycodes.com and then paste here, control V, okay? And then get Spotify code. So it shows here, take five, time out, open search scan and so on. We can adjust the background color, bar color, size and so on, but we'll just leave it like this. And then for the size, we'll just use it like this, 640 pixel is uh, so far is enough. But the format, we need to change to SVG because uh, we need to convert to become a 3D file and it's easier to do from SVG file. So click here, select SVG, and then click download. And then, yeah, you already download the Spotify code SVG file. And then check to your computer where the file is downloaded. So in this case, I will open here. This is the file. And then I will uh, copy this one to the folder that I want. So I will work in this folder, okay? Now we are moving to the step two, and that is converting the SVG file to become a step file. This step is actually similar with the last video, so you can also check that one out. And to do that, we need to open the FreeCAD software. So uh, you can click file, open, and so on, or just drag and drop from this uh, downloaded file to the uh, FreeCAD, and then click here, SVG as geometry select okay it will open the svg file but it doesn't look like much for now it's okay now let's save this file as a step file to do that we need to click here file export okay sorry we need to select the objects that we want to export so in this case we have to select all of them and then Okay, you, you need to click here and then press shift and then click at the end of the list of the shapes and then click file, export. Okay, here I will input take 5. Okay, now we have the step file and then let's move on to the third step. Now we are moving to step number three, and that is converting the step file to become a 3D printable STL file. And to do that, I will click here and then drag and drop to Design Spark Mechanical Windows. Okay, it shows this uh, warning will be red only. Okay, and then uh, it shows like this. We still cannot work on this uh, shape. For example, if I want to track this one, pull this one, it's impossible. So to uh, modify or adjust this file, we need to project the shapes. There are many methods, but this is going to be the one of the most simple one. So click here and then make a rectangle here with the size that's almost the same as the largest surface. Okay, and then click the 3D mode and then select all from surface number one until the last one and also the surface that we have just made and then click project wait a while wait a moment take some times okay now we click this one select and we can see that the shape is already projected to the new surface so we if we hide all these other surfaces that's blocked we can see most of the shape is already transferred to this to the new one but we still have some shapes 
that's not shown here so we see this one double click on this one and then click project and then press alt button on your keyboard and then click here wait until it become a dark blue okay and then press select so it's already transferred like this for this one also same double click here and then click project and then press alt button and then click at this shape and it's becoming a dark blue one and then release the alt button so now we have this also and we can work on uh, these uh, shapes now I will I will make the uh, this codes two millimeters uh, thick so I will click here and here and here press control and then click this tree and then click this one pull and I will drag by two millimeters okay and then for this uh, circle I will just put 0 0.5 okay now we need to pull also this uh, codes or extrude two millimeters also if I want to make it the same height with this one and to do that we need to select one by one or maybe we can also select like this and then uh, it will select uh, from the range start until end and then click this one pull and then we will extrude by two millimeters okay now I will make the base by one millimeters thick so click here okay it's still uh, still only select the shape outside of this uh, bars so to make a simple operation we will make another rectangle here ah, sorry click here sketch mode okay I will just make another rectangle so I will copy this one control C and control V and then uh, I will hide all the other solids and then click this one the 3d mode so now I have this shape I will select this one and then pull or, or extrude by one millimeters okay now I will select all the previous solids and we have this now I will click this one combine to combine all the uh, solids and it will become a one solid object you can then make the corners more round so I will click here and then pull congratulations you have designed a 3d printable Spotify code and to print this design you will need to export to become an STL file and then after that slice in Cura and you will need two colors of filament so in this case you will need to print with the first color up to this height okay and then after that you will need to pause the printer and then change with the other color filament and continue up to the end of the print so you will have this layer or this surface and this surface with the same color and then you will have this top one with a different color that way the apps can read the Spotify code so that's all for now thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you again in the next video Bye.